Everybody here is not married. True? I'm going to ask you to do something that's going to be something you've never done in church before. Take your shoes off. Every person. Take your shoes off. Every person right now. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. It doesn't matter. I know some of your socks, they may not, they may smell. It doesn't matter. Take your shoes off. Some of you have boots. Everybody, take your shoes off. Even Fraser. Thank you, Fraser. Everybody, take your shoes off. Okay. I want you right now to go back to your seat. Yeah, yeah, go back to your seat. Go back. Leave your shoes. Everybody, leave your shoes here. No, 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 no. Everybody, leave your shoes here. Go back to your seats. Go back to your seats. Thank you, Joe. Go back to your seats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, give them a round of applause as they come. Take your seats. Two most important questions in your life. First one is who you will worship. Second one is who you're going to marry. The most important question, and we saw majority of our youth tonight, majority of people in this room tonight are single people. And they stood on this platform and they gave their shoes. To find a person that you're going to get married to in just a few minutes, I'm going to give you a little tip and we're going to pray for you. It's the same way as you find right shoes. Number one is they have to match. Principle number one, how do you find the right person? And time is going to come for some of you. How do you find the right person is that the right, the way you find your shoes is both shoes have to match means you and the person that you want to be with they you have to match this is muslim this is buddhist don't go together you have to find somebody who of your faith you have to find somebody it's, it's as, as strange as somebody wearing this shoe and this shoe it's just not comfortable i mean you can still do it we live in a weird culture you can do anything but nobody will do that in the right mind because it will not be comfortable. Your life will not be good. Your shoes, your feet won't feel good. If you marry somebody on that with somebody who is not of your faith, in the beginning it will feel like, oh, it doesn't matter what, what faith we are. We are in love. Listen, tell you my friend, once you get on the road of life, all that love is going to wear out and you're going to end up with their faith. Not only with their, you have to end up being similar with their faith. You have to match genders. That means left shoe and right shoe. Right shoe, left shoe. Right shoe. Left shoe. Guy and girl. Girl and guy. Not girl and girl. And guy and guy. That's not going to match. Now I know the culture says it's okay, but it just don't match. The Bible says man leave, shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his, not man, wife. God designed our bodies in such a way that when a man makes love to his wife, they, they match. When a man makes love to a man, ugh, gross. Number two, not only you have to match, you have to fit. Because you can find shoes. They match. They won't fit. For most of you, they won't fit means you have to find somebody in your life that also fits you. We say, oh, we fit perfect. We're in love. We match together. So what's stopping us? We don't need to go to the altar. We don't need to get, you know, before God. We don't need, we don't need the government to tell us we're in love. We don't need nobody. We're in love. Listen, my friend, that's not love. That's stealing. That's the daughter of God. That's the son of God. And we have no permission to do that. What you do when you find shoes that match and you find shoes that you fit perfect, you take them and you put them back into a box. Mm-hmm. Say amen. amen. You put them back into the box. You don't wear them and come to the cashier and say, hey, can I scan these shoes? No, you put them back in the box and you start making your way not to the exit door, to the cashier. You start taking steps by steps to the cashier. What does that mean? If you find somebody that matches you and fits you, you put it back in the box. That means you make that relationship not physical. It's in a box. You don't open the box and say, let me tell you, let me just, you know, share with you my body. And let me just give. No, no, no. You put it back in the box and you start making steps toward the altar. True love makes steps not in the bed but to the altar. And guys may come and say, if you love me, you would do it. You say, if you would love me, you would get a job, put a ring on it and you will take me to church and then you will take me to your house. In Christianity, there is no return policy. In the world, if you don't like it or if they get old or if there's newer one. I saw the newer ones. 
in the store. There's this girl that comes and she looks a lot better, a lot younger, has a lot sharper. And you know what? I'm just going to get rid of this one and get the new one. And this is how people do it in the world. With God, there is no, re there is no returning. God only does repairing. And so if, if they get old, if they get worn out, if things get difficult, you don't throw it away and go new, get the new one. No, you go to God and you say, God, can you repair it? God doesn't believe in return. He believes in repairing.